Okay, so a day later, I'm currently walking to the chapel for a midday prayer. I don't know how they call it. Um, yeah, it's kind of like in a monastery, but fancy. I was asking, where were you for the midday prayer? <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I actually didn't arrive. <laughs> okay, here's Rafael and he's gonna give you the tour. The CHILC, the Centro Internazionale Legionari di Cristo, the International Center of the Legionaries of Christ. Let's have a look at it, where we live and um, where we go about every day. Come with me. Very nice place. It's a half an hour from the center of room. It's not too noisy, it's very nice to pray, it's nice to study the silence. It's a great place to be. This is the chapel every day and the legionaries, well, in the morning we come together, we pray together. Also at midday, also in the afternoon, at, at night, night prayers, we have adoration together. Brothers come here to pray rosary, to confess and yeah. Okay, let's have a look at the auditorium. It's so big, is it? Yeah, so now we don't have that many vocations. I mean, we are still like 60 philosophers. Before, also theologians were living here. There were around 400 brothers here. So imagine for conferences, Sunday talks or lectures or spiritual exercises where we would pray and uh, retreats, we would gather here and everything would be basically but we don't just pray but we also have community activities like to watch movies together or uh, the brothers like to watch the Champions League and some Champions League games we watch together and this is the perfect place to be so this is in the courtyard there's one gardener who is working here also the brothers are working in the gardens they're in charge of the flowers and everything that everything is nice and clean also people who are very good at like spiritual direction and guiding others and they know a lot about the spiritual life they also say it's important for people who live in silence who who are contemplating that they have beautiful nature around them right the olive olive trees they help yeah, a lot right. to, to contemplate to see the beauty of god also in nature right after we went to the midday prayers in the chapel we had the same way we are heading now mm -hmm. to the dining room. Have lunch together, we work together, we serve together, we clear the tables, we prepare the food. That's where we dine. From here we can also see the, the three main buildings. They're all connected, like one, two, three. We already saw the auditorium, which is that building. And behind there, there's another big building where the professors live. So right next to Centro Legionari di Cristo, our center is the university where we study philosophy and theology and we have 45 professors that live in that building there. The university is there behind the dining room and it's also a big race. So from my room to my classroom, I need like three minutes and a half. It's awesome. So that's, that's, that's a big race. We are here in the Salon de Star, which is the community room of the philosophers. Every day after lunch, we come here we have our coffee. The core and the heart of this community room is not the coffee machine, but the chapel, which is also a part of oh. the room. Jesus is always here and also the brothers, they uh, like to pray their conscience exam here. Sometimes we have adoration together. Uh, this is a well-frequented place. If you want to meet the chill, uh, we can give you room here. All right, thank you. You're welcome. This is oh. called Piazza del Popolo because it's the piazza for all the people here. Exactly, like yeah, for us. Okay, so we're on the Spanish stairs right now, are we? Yeah, we are. Yeah, it's the middle platform. So you can see over there this, below there this. And yeah, it's not too bad actually, is it? <laughs> nice, nice, it's beautiful. Yeah, awesome. So let's go. Get some coffee. Next one. Next one. Oh, don't get killed, please. Oh, wow, it's like pistachio. 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 Ah. Yeah, oh. go. <laughs> we have this problem that the clouds... So... They are covering it. Yeah, But exactly. Jesus Christ says that if you have faith, you can move mountains. 
Exactly. So and what are we going to do? <laughs> it's easier to move clouds because they are just water. <laughs> so let's move it. Move okay. it. Ah! Whoa, he's, he's like into it. You're like Moses. I'm up to try it, but I need more faith. Yeah. So increase our faith. Oh. Intimacy there. We don't want to interrupt that. But yeah, maybe we... probably we have to, to help them. <laughs> Please, save her. <laughs> <laughs> that we are embarrassing of all I don't care. Of all I don't care. Those people. I would never see them. Yeah, yeah, probably, right? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. so kind. Look at him. Oh, my goodness. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can it's also take a selfie. I want to a selfie, también. But it's not so beautiful, you know? Not like uh, just like the view, we also the sunset. Look at him. Is it good, Martin? Mm, not too. But you try your best. Martin! Look, they, they're laughing naturally. That's amazing, <laughs> right? That is. Oh, wow. You are dying. Yes. Yeah. Because tomorrow I will have less time than I had today. Wow. What a great saying. No, it's kind of scary for some ones. But when you realize that dying is actually one step more to get to heaven, it's not that scary. Isn't it? No, it isn't. Wow. So I would say bye bye, Rome. Bye bye, Rome. Bye bye. I'm not Rome, but it's okay. Bye bye. <laughs>